What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and this is organizing Ultrazilla's toys. As you can see here, I got some Godzillas, some SH Monsters, and that is what this video is about. Taking care of my SH Monster Art shelf. I started this video a few weeks back now, uh, and then was having problems with Shin here, which led to the final part of my last Fixzilla, uh, which you can check out. Uh, I will put a link in at the end here. But, yeah. I started. He fell apart. I never got back to this. And uh, I just decided to scrap that video. Um, so, the thing is, one of the things that I was having a problem with besides that, because I did come back and try to film a little bit more, but I just didn't like the way it was going. And nothing is better now. Um is I, I still don't have a fantastic plan for everything uh, on these shelves. Oh, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna start with things falling apart again and I think that's gonna be a theme when it comes to monster arts. So but I think as far as this bottom shelf, because that's where we are on the bottom shelf, is it's gonna be Shin Godzilla's. Now, maybe that's a little bit too little, but especially since there's so many figures um, to do. What we got here? Missing tail? There you go. I found you. I found you. Now, this is going to also be a uh, case of, like, a lot of parts not on things. Uh, yeah. Are you missing anything? You're missing your feeties. And I say that because I see his feeties here. There's so many things that just come off and then, like, can't get things back on. And that is, like, part of the struggle of being a monster arts collector. So, I feel like I should have a blow dryer here to blow dry some of this stuff. Here's the other leg. Let's see if we have uh, any better luck. Am I even on camera? I, I really can't tell. All right, so that's the pain. The pain. But at least let's keep his legs near him so then I could fill in. Now, where are the other little guys? So what I'm doing here is a little bit of a thing frozen. Shin, I guess, should be looking kind of sort of up. Frozen Shin has the best tail, though. Where's Frozen Shin? There he is. Um, and I kind of... I would love to display that tail first, but that's probably not going to happen. So... I guess I would do this. Something like that. As far as the overall display, but... Again, yeah, it's there's not enough shins to make it worth it. However, these guys here, uh, there is a lot of, and they definitely can take up the whole shelf. But let's move up a little bit because we'll figure that out as we go. I'll have to, again planning this out is not should have been what I did first. But I just wanted to jump into this video. Um, again, here's another spot where he's... We got Burning Godzilla's here. I think this is... Oh, yeah. See, I was setting up this shelf uh, when I came back, and then I scrapped the video completely. So, this shelf is pretty good. We got Mogera and the two Mecha Godzilla's it's burning to explosion. Uh, and then some of the other ones of, uh, you know, both the original mold and the birth. Um, this is birth. They're both birth. This was birth before it was birth. Uh, um, and then the Orai Noroyoshi at the end, which is very nice. And this shelf is pretty much done. You know, there's not much to do here. We have uh, some things that don't belong on that shelf. Let's get them out of there. Okay, this guy I gotta find the rest of his things. His hand is missing. Or is it not? His hand's on the floor. So I'm not gonna worry about that in this video. We're just going through. 
showing you guys some stuff. Okay, so getting up to the next shelf. This guy doesn't belong here. He's ultimately not going to be here, but he's so cool. And for those of you that don't, oh, his thing is down, um, that wanted a comparison, here he is. And this is a Chogokin Black compared to the um, SH ones. And there's another one in the back there. The original ones back here. So, yeah. I, I like this one better, and I love, and these are some of my favorite monster arts, but I think I like this one better. Hopefully a review of this one soon, but he don't belong here. So we're going to get him out. And then we got more Zillas here, some random ones. I guess he could be the centerpiece. And then we'll cure use on this side. And then we will put... Uh, you know what? Let's do this. This guy here, since this is the opponent of those Kiryu's. And then the two Sakai's here. And that shelf is pretty nicely done. You're definitely not a monster arts. Um, but you are awesome. You are very awesome. This is Gato. We'll put Gara to the side. I don't want to mess around with him too much. I did just find another one of these, so that's good. Throw them down there. Now I do have some Revoltex sitting on the shelf too, but this is a like I have this one is like a smaller uh, one. So I have some of the ones that do fit on here, including the fifty four, uh, which is down here right now, which should be the centerpiece here. I will put that here, and then. 62, we got Mecha Godzilla. We got the 264s behind them. We got more dudes back there, juniors, and Mothras, destroyers. And then we do have these Revoltex, but I think I have to move them just to make more room. I was gonna like make, cause I mean, I don't know. Revoltex are so cool. They are, look, this is my, one of my favorite figures, Anguirus. We got Damajin. Gaigon. And Rodan. So we will take those off. And then we got very, we got a cap here with a, what looks like a Mazinger Z hand. Uh, I don't know. And then there's a lot of stuff here that, man, I don't, I just don't know what they are. So just gonna have to be careful. I don't want to like destroy those. We got Dorats. Eh, Dorats could go here. Sure. At least one Dorat. I don't know what the other one is. We got these two guys here. Again, this guy. Mecha Godzilla. I feel like. Oh, I feel like this 62 should go at the end. Mothra Larva, who's missing some feet, but I have them. They, uh, they're in a little baggy. I just gotta find a time to glue them. That took a shelf dive. Um, this, I just dropped this thing. This thing, where am I? Hand holding, hand holding this is not fun. Wait, is this all right? I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so we're back on the floor here because we still have this legendary Godzilla problem. Um, and I have a lot of them. And they're going to require their own shelf. Hmm. Hmm. One possibility is to not have a shelf of little guys here. Uh, because I feel like this will fit in here. So, they do. So that shelf is going to have to be that. And all of these guys are going to have to fit in into other spots. So like the rats could go there. Or on the top shelf near Ghidorah's. More Ghidorah's, but that's fine. Uh, and these guys will have to go up here. Which makes sense. Now, I obviously am missing some characters and maybe Rathalos and 
uh, Nargakuga won't go on the shelf because they're not, um, they're not Toho's. So, because we do have, I do have Gamera, uh, my Gamera's on the, my Gamera shelf, which we'll look at another time, and Kong on, uh, what, the rest of us Kongs. So, there's those. Um, Alien Big Chap is somewhere down there, and, oh, and Gamera's are over there, and then I got that Eva... Zilla right there with the Eva stuff. So, yeah, okay. All right, we're getting this. We're gonna get this. So, Mecha Godzilla might go with some Mecha Godzillas up there. That's a possibility now. Now we're getting to it. So, this dude, I already know. Oh my god, some stuff fell. Uh, I do want here. Let's, let's bring him there. All right? And then I might put these guys up here as well. You know, the, some of these guys are small, so. The, you know, the pro one of the problems is, I, I don't know why they refuse to make too many showers. You know, like, whoop, these two. Like those guys, and this. I wonder if uh, I could just leave those there. Can we fit all of these guys up here? That would be interesting. Let's see, that, and that, not that. Oh, this guy who, I have to do something about this guy's tail. Um, ah, and this guy over, bring this guy in, it's almost a possibility, do that, I got four more, so in theory, I possibly could do it, now, I fiddled with the idea of selling one of these two, uh, and probably the original one just because I like emergence um I like the color you know that's pretty good um so I'm gonna take this guy off the shelf for now and set it up like so well I do I still like this guy at the end I'll do this give this some more room this guy's gonna sit better once it's got his tail I like that guy, contrary to popular opinion. I got that guy, still not gonna fit. One, blue is not gonna fit good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can we do this? I feel like we still can. Again, this guy is the weird one. There, there, there. Blue Zilla's still not gonna fit. All right, uh, I'll have to figure it out. There is room on this shelf for sure. So somebody gonna have to come down here. And I feel like that could be... That, it doesn't look so great. And then you got these two random guys over here. But... That's gonna have to do. And by the way, here is the rest of his tail. Um, I actually lost a ball joint. It popped out at some point and jumped somewhere and I never found it. I, I bet you it's on like the backs of one of these shelves of like unset up figures. Um, that's highly possible. So I think that's gonna do, again, this shelf is very sparse down here. So, I mean, original could go there. There's a couple of things I gotta tweak. But for the most part, things are on shelves in a little bit more setup of a way. And I'm basically uh, 
refilming this last scene, which actually was a scene in between uh, other scenes, uh, and this is not how it's gonna go, but Rodan was actually up there originally, and I did bring it down here, but for some reason, it didn't record. Um, so this is what I got right now to work with on this almost, this top shelf of this shelving unit, but then I have an extra, like, um, windowsill that's really blocked off from the sun. None of these guys are getting sun damage because there's a tree out there and it's basement. So the biggest guys are all over here, including the animes and uh, King Ghidorah and of course uh, the, uh, DX and uh, yep, yeah, I just put him up here and that thing uh, and Biolante and uh, yeah, that other thing. I don't like that guy that much either. So there is some room there. Um, and I might bring some folks up here because I did bring these here. And this guy is going to go on there. So Rodan, and I was planning on here with this, but I don't know anymore. I might bring him up a little bit because it's in the way. So this is where I had Rodan prior. Oh, and now the thing came off, and I'll have one hand to do this with. Can I do it? And you're not even seeing anything what I'm doing. I don't like it there. And uh, we're gonna have to see. Here's more threat. I, I'm gonna have to see. Otherwise, you gotta get, you know, a lot of the villains up here, and now these two, which I don't know. I think they're gonna go back down here. I'm feeling them more down here. It makes more sense, I think. Where's Rodan? I just realized I'm missing Rodan from uh, Mechagodzilla. Hmm. Here somewhere. <laughs> In the room somewhere, there is a Rodan. So I'm going to have to fix this around, fix it up a little bit. But yeah, uh, you know, I was, I was closing out. And uh, then I realized, well, I realized after I, I downloaded the... The video is that I was missing this last section, so I had to to delete the ending of my action, my first attempt, and uh, redo it to show you guys what was on here with the Destroyer and uh, the Figma guy, Dark Warrior, uh, and Space Godzilla, Batra, Batra, Mothra, Mothra, Gigan, and uh, Booty, 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 Showa, Ghidorah, which is awesome. So there you go. I think I could end it now because I still, I, I did what I had to do for now. There's a few things to decide, but overall, the SH mod starts. Uh, shelving uh, is pretty set until, say, you know, the monster art stuff comes, the monster arts, the monster hunter stuff comes, and then, then we'll see. Then we'll play all over again. But for now, till next time, peace out, peeps.